The world as we know it today is about to change forever. This may look like a simple set of gears. And that's because it is a simple set of gears. But what if I told you you could design this right now without having any sort of CAD or 3D modeling skills? And only last year, people said this would be impossible. This is going to disrupt an entire industry. So how did I do this? You've probably heard of ChatGPT, and we're not gonna be using it in this video. What we will be using though is Claude, and the version we're using is called Sonnet 3.5. And perhaps you've heard of OpenSCAD, an open source CAD software that if you've ever tried before, you'd know that it has a little bit of a steep learning curve. We could use AI as sort of our designer companion friend and it may need a little bit of encouragement sometimes. So we'll have to guide it through the process. This is the first time I've gotten AI to actually make something good. And we could start by simply asking it to write some code for a spur gear using OpenSCAD code. And I do have to help it a little bit by telling it it could use the internal library. So now it's gonna go ahead and write all of the code that we could import directly into OpenSCAD. Simply paste the code in right here and click render. And we might have to help it a little bit more. For some reason, it ignored the part about using the built-in libraries. Let's go ahead and paste the new code back into OpenSCAD and render it again and see how it looks. And that is a very good looking spur gear. Great, and now we'll tell it to duplicate this gear and have them mesh together. Let's go ahead and paste the new code in and go ahead and click render and see how it does. And after some processing and waiting, we have some really good looking meshed spur gears. And the AI decided to make it interesting by having the gears not be a one-to-one -one gear ratio, AKA it decides to make one gear bigger than the other, which I guess is fine. Now that we have the gears, let's go ahead and have Claude design us a freestanding gear stand. So here's the first attempt of it making a stand for the gear set. Definitely far from ideal. Well, all I have to do is tell it just make the gears mesh like they were before. Okay, so now the gears are meshed, but they're still not set in the stand properly. And you get the idea. All you have to do is kind of nudge it in the right direction. So let's go ahead and try it again. And okay, we're getting closer. Now we could just tell it to add a base to the stand because for some reason it deleted the base. And okay, sure, that's fine, I guess. Now at this point, I asked it to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And it decided to add these weird cutouts, these triangles and this hexagon cutout from the base. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too much to ask of the AI currently. For now, we'll just tell it to make it a little bit sleeker and thinner. So basically we have our final design right here. It's just one button to export it as an STL file. Simply throw it into your slicer of choice and print. Now, of course, this is just the beginning and it's not hard to imagine this becoming much more advanced. All I know is that one year ago, people thought this would be absolutely impossible. And now it's basically here. Now imagine one more year in the future, two, three or five years in the future. It's gonna be crazy.